Teddy pummeled Bermuda early this week with wind and rain as it swept over the island. Teddy is now heading for Nova Scotia, and even though the storm is hundreds of miles off the coast, it is impacting Maine's shoreline. Meteorologist Ryan Breton is on the coast of Wells and joins us with more. Hey, Ryan. Hey Amanda, I have to tell you, people here are lining the streets to check this out. We have some eight to 10 foot waves coming in right now as Teddy swirls about 350 miles off the coastline. And if you look behind me, there have been these big crashing waves all afternoon. And the concern here is they're crashing up into uh, Webb Hannett Drive from Fisherman's Cove here in Wells. And when they do that, they carry seaweed, they carry rocks, they carry other objects. So what we recommend is that you stay back. We're in a kind of safer spot that's protected. But just about 30 yards down, all of those cars have been slammed with water over the course of the last hour and a half or so. High tide about 345. So the tide is slowly starting to subside but the waves are gonna to continue to ramp up this evening. So there won't be much of a, a low tide, so to speak, around here. It's gonna be pretty active through the night. Haven't seen too much damage, but a lot of rocks have been thrown onto the ocean, from the ocean onto the, onto the road, I should say. And there's quite a bit of standing water too. So for everybody driving through this area on their way home from work, this is going to be a situation they have to deal with. And by the way, this is a spot that sees this very frequently from big storms. Usually they come in the winter though, usually not from a hurricane that's 350 miles offshore as we've seen out here today. Going to be out here through the evening. We'll keep you posted uh, through the next uh, two and a half hours. For now, we're live in Wells. I'm meteorologist Ryan Breton.